Hey everyone, Pastor Matt here, and I'm coming to you today to talk to you a little bit about our Christmas services this year. We've had some of you reach out and ask us, are we doing something different for Christmas services? Are we not doing anything at all? What does this look like? Some of you may even be wondering, are we even meeting? What, what is going on? So hopefully this clarifies some of what we're thinking and what we're looking forward to here in, the, in just a couple of weeks. The cool thing about this year is that we've already been doing the Thursday evening services. And so December 24th, Christmas Eve, falls on a Thursday, and we're planning to have an in-person service at 7 p.m. Thursday, December 24th. Now, that service is gonna be the same service that we're doing on Sunday, December 27th. So whether you come on Thursday, Christmas Eve, or you come on that Sunday, you're gonna hear the exact same message. You're gonna hear the same musical numbers that we've been prepping and planning to do as part of these services. And you will get the opportunity, in addition to these two services in person, if you're at home and you're just not comfortable coming in person, we are gonna live stream both of those service times. Now that's something that we're doing a little bit different. Normally we live stream just Sundays at 10.30 a.m. Well, for the week of Christmas, we are gonna live stream both Thursday evening at 7 p.m. and Sunday morning at 10.30. So if you've got your family together for Christmas Eve and you really would like to incorporate that element into your Christmas Eve celebrations, tune in online, join us, come in person, whatever you feel most comfortable with, we wanna be able to serve you in that way. Now, as part of those services, there's two elements that we're gonna prep you for so that you know what to expect. One of those elements is gonna be communion. We're gonna take communion together as part of both of those services. So if you're staying at home and you plan on joining us online, find some bread and some juice and just have it ready so that you can participate with us in that way. The other thing that we are gonna do as part of that service is we're gonna light candles together. This is a yearly celebration that many people just resonate with being able to look around and see those around them in a dim light setting lit by candles and reflecting on the reality that the light has come in Christ. So those are two elements that we ask you to prepare for and look forward to uh, with us as we uh, lean into this season together. Now one more element of this that I just want to draw your attention to we fully recognize that this time of year is one where people, even those who may not attend regularly, look forward to coming to a service on Christmas Eve or on the Sunday around Christmas time. Now, we want to be cautious in how we do this so that we're operating in a safe manner. And so we're asking, if you're planning on joining us in person, click the link in the description below and sign up as to which service you're gonna to come to and how many people are gonna be with you. This is gonna help us gauge how many people we have and be able to spread people out easily. Now, I understand if some of you forget and you come anyway, that's okay. We're not gonna turn people away if they come, but we wanna take every precaution we can to have an idea as to how many people are gonna be here. So that brings you up to speed, and if you have questions, if there's things that just still don't make sense to you, email us, call us on the phone. We'd love to answer those to bring clarity to them, and I just wanna tell you, I'm excited to be able to gather with you, whether that be in person or online, as we celebrate the birth of our Savior. I look forward to seeing you.